and welcome to Almagre.com reviews and today we're reviewing this which is the REI Quarter Dome two person tent uh, designed for you to take on the trails. This tent only weighs about 3.1 pounds which is great, it's very light. However, it comes with a price, it costs nearly $300. But rest assured, the price doesn't only cover the lightness of this particular tent, it also covers the quality. Um, the, the, the quality of the tarp and the bug netting, you feel that it's not cheap stuff. You feel it's not a rough tarp that you get in a $50 dome tent. Uh, it is definitely worth uh, the money. Uh, the best features of the tent is the fact that this tarp could be taken off and you have sky window in a way so you could uh, peek out onto the sky as you're laying down and not being eaten alive by mosquitoes or ticks. But if the rain arrives, putting the tarp is very easy. It only takes about a minute to put it on uh, with clasps and everything and attach it. I mean, you could just throw it on within a couple of seconds if it's pouring. And. Uh, uh, the neat feature about the particular, this particular top is the fact that it has uh, these kind of pockets for your equipment on both sides. Uh, yes, this tent has two doors. As you can see, this is the first door and the second door is right there. And uh, this particular uh, piece of a tarp that's rolled up right now, it closes so you can have your equipment under the tarp uh, stored away and uh, stay dry uh, throughout the night. Another feature of this tent is the setup I have right now, which uh, basically allows to have a beautiful airflow going on. Obviously, as you can see, the bug netting is open. So normally you would just close the bug netting and you will still have some air coming in. When I usually use this tent during the day when I set it up, I, I, I put the tarp only halfway and roll it up from the bottom. Um, this way it just, you know, it breathes, it doesn't get stuffy. And when I'm ready to go to bed and if the night feeling a little chilly and I just roll it back down and uh, even sometimes close the doors in case I think it might drizzle or it gets a little too cold. Another feature that I love about this tent is uh, the pouch space it has for your belongings and I just it's not a one little pouch it is just a long pocket where you could put your books and your flashlights and your keys and everything it's just one giant thing and it's it's great and it kind of is bad in a way because then if you have something heavier then everything else just kind of rolls towards it but um, it's great because it's just so much room I mean it's more room than you would get in a six-person tent uh, uh, in terms of storage it's quite nice as I mentioned before this tent only weighs three pounds and you could you feel it you feel the difference uh, every ounce counts whenever you have your pack on especially with your water and your um, beverages and food and uh, extra layers you feel it and three pounds it's not that um, heavy especially if you uh, what I do I divide this tent in half I, I have my poles and my tarp in one pocket on the side and I have the, the the base layers you see and all the stakes on the, on the other side so I I don't have this kind of pulling me to one side or another and at the same time I don't uh, have to put it inside my backpack uh, and sacrifice space where I could keep additional clothing or um, my sleeping bag for example in it so and it does not take up that much of room to begin with so I, it's definitely a great great buy if you subscribe to my channel you saw that I um, did a review for the Eureka solo tent uh, not too while ago, maybe a year ago, and I was saying, oh, it's amazing and everything. But after maybe fourth or fifth use, especially um, in the wind in colder weather, not winter, but you know, late fall when when you layer up, you know, you cocoon yourself. I was having trouble kind of breathing, so I needed to stand up, and I couldn't stand up because the ceiling is you know three inches away from your face. And that kind of made me feel claustrophobic. And this is why I upgraded to a two-person tent. And the cool thing about it is that you can set up normally and still have some room over your head. Obviously, unless you're seven feet tall, sitting up in this tent might be just cutting a little close. But you know, if you're average height, somewhere five, six, five, seven, six, two, you should be able to sit up and still have some breathing room over your head and not feel like you're being cocooned and. Uh, Oregon forest by ancient bugs uh, that were you know released when loggers cut down ancient trees and uh, they're sucking the life out of you <laughs> honestly there's nothing really negative that I could think about this tent uh, it you know it offers everything you need uh, good ventilation uh, 
it's a quick, easy way to set it up. Uh, once you get the pole structure, REI has the weird pole structure going on, and you know, as the, the company in general, they have that certain method. So once you get it figured out, it's just one, two, three. However, one thing that I'm a little iffy about this tent is, um, although it has beautiful ventilation on the doors, there's just the one tiny little window um, on the front of it, and I kind of wish it was a little bigger, maybe twice the size, I would feel more uh, comfortable having the air come in from from the top and just you know settle above my face uh, other than that I think it's a great tent I, I'm sorry but it is a little pricey you know it's uh, it's about $300 you, I got it on sale for 200 so you could catch that if you're lucky uh, however the quality you know it shows with the quality it shows with the lightness it's not it's not a six pound trail tent that that uh, Coleman, for example, sells, uh, which is the Hooligan 2. Uh, that, that tent is amazing with, um, if you're on a campground, but when it comes to hiking, you, know, you want the lighter, and uh, the sturdier, the better. Overall, I highly recommend this tent. Uh, if you can afford it, uh, even if you can't, if you do a payment plan, I, and, but you go out on trails and uh, the weight of the tent and the quality matters to you, definitely highly recommend it. Um, thanks for watching almagear.com reviews and please like and subscribe. Ask me if you have any questions and uh, check out my other videos. Thanks, cheers. And uh, they're sucking the life out of you. <laughs> you know what it is, right? I just said X-Files Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that was this is mm, 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 serious. <laughs>